She does everything with Paul and everyone in her team who are absolutely incredible to make these next two days um, memories for all of us and hopefully we all take something really crucial away. Uh, we learn, we meet new people, we create new projects and make this um, a very constructive today. So, um, so through my role as I'm UN8's uh, Global Advocate for Young Women and Adults and Girls for HIV AIDS, I have come to understand more deeply the various issues that uh, BMEA women go through. My work takes me from rooms such as here to decision makers to um, people that talk about it and people that, people that execute what has been talked about. So, um, so as an advocate for young women and adolescent girls and one who cannot possibly really understand what VA and women go through, I'm here as well to understand how can I be a better role model? What can I do to contribute? And um, I'm here as a listener. I'm here as a go-betweener. And I'm here as all of you, I'm here as a fighter. A fighter for what is right. So as over the last years I listened to all of these wonderful, inspirational, diverse young women um, who told me their stories, who trusted me with their stories. Stories talking about inequalities, stories talking about insults, stories talking about humiliation, social pressure. All of these topics that I'm sure a lot of us here in this room know very well about as well, have heard about it, have lived through it. Whatever your experience is with these, I am with you. So, we are here to take all of these stories that I have heard from, that you have heard from, and to find the solutions. Of course, I take that crucial insight that a lot of these women that tell me these stories that have, I have met in South Africa, I have met in Ghana, Uganda, um, all over the world, in the UK, often they are not in these rooms. They are not here today, a lot of them. And I'm really looking forward to that day when there doesn't need to be a Tessie standing in front of you talking about their problems and talking about their inequalities and their injustices and their pains and their fears, but that they can do it themselves, stand up for themselves, that, that they have a bigger platform um, to speak up for themselves. So all of us in this room, as I said before, we are all allies. We're all here for the same purpose. We're here to change people's lives. We're here to listen. We're here to create new policies um, that also adjust and actually work with what people need. We need to make sure today and the day tomorrow and the day tomorrow, the after tomorrow that we put these individuals on the table to create policies, to create um, laws and whatever you are doing in your specific positions that benefits them by knowing that they helped us shape these. So, I'm sorry, I'm a bit nervous, and it's very early. <laughs> 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 um, we had a wonderful dinner yesterday evening where we got to know each other a little bit more. So, um, why am I here? As I said, what I hope that one day the BME women and girls won't need someone like me here, they can speak for themselves. In this room, we have a true gold mine of people who have experiences and knowledge. The work we all do, whether within or outside of sexual health, is no doubt driven by a need to make change. And I'm encouraged by the enthusiasm and blue sky thinking of Marion specifically and the whole team of NAS. Now, I don't expect this to be a walk in the park. Neither should you. We have much to consider. <coughs> like how we create legitimate campaigns and execute programs that work to eradicate HIV AIDS. We have come far with initiatives such as the 9099 initiatives, where Luxembourg, my fellow home country, is a very big sponsor and supporter of it. But that is not where we stop. So, many of the global issues the community 
these faces are fixable. But as I've learned, no one person has a solution. It is only through collaboration and true substantive allyship that we can solve the problem, bridge these gaps, and move forward. I've, I've been listening today. I will listen to all of you. Um, I will take notes. Hopefully answer some questions to contribute. And then I'm hoping that we can really smash these barriers together, at least start the conversation. And if not today, then we start the conversations tomorrow and after tomorrow, because we are here to make a change, whenever that day is. But do not give up. I know it is a long round, and often when we sit in our offices from 8 to 6 p.m., or even longer, 9 p.m., 10 p.m., we go home and we're like, is this, is this even working? You know, do I make an effort? Is my effort enough? Do I reach the people I want to reach? Let me tell you, I know it can be frustrating at times, but BME women, they need you. Other minorities communities, they need you. So do not be disencouraged. It might not be visible today, but maybe tomorrow or after tomorrow, because with your effort, you're putting a seed in the ground, 